Hi guys to everyone, it's Ada from Poison Draw. Today we'll be welcome back to Leo and Parker from Wings of Steel. First of all, how is it going guys? Doing fine. How about you? Tired, but good. It's everything is going good, right? So, we spoke not even a year ago and uh, you already have a tour all over the Europe. What's going on? What's going on? Well, so so at long last, we have finally uh, we have finally been able to put together a tour of, uh, of Europe. So it's, I mean, it base it all kind of came together because I mean, probably it was probably around a year ago now. Actually, we got asked to go play the, uh, the Keep It True Festival. Yeah, exactly. Um, which happens at the it happens at the end of every April in Germany. Okay. And so we figured, well, you know, if we're if we're gonna be over there to go um, to go play Keep It True, we should. You know, obviously, you should make a tour out of it. Um, so that's that's exactly what we did. So we got we got shows primarily in Germany, but we also got a show in Belgium, and we got two shows in uh, uh, in France as well. So um, yeah. it's a lot of fun. We're super stoked to get out there and, and play. And uh, yeah, yeah, because as well, I mean, it's not the first time that you're doing a tour in Europe, right? With Wings is still, this is actually the first time we are doing a tour in Europe. Really? Yeah. It's the first time we do a show in Europe. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, well, 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 wait. You do a sh every type of show in Europe, but you did it in USA. Yeah, yeah. yeah we've done we've done three shows in in USA so far. I mean, we've been we've existed as a band for for pretty much two years since we put out the the debut EP. Yeah. And we've only done uh, we've only played three shows actually. Gee, um, so this is a big deal. As, as Wings is still, Leo and I have played many more shows uh, yeah. beyond that, of course. But yeah. um, how long that uh, you yeah. don't see each other? How long is that you're not together? Well, that's like um, I mean that's 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 pretty much why we've only played. Uh, we've only been able to do three shows so far. Is um, well, Leo, Leo and I met when he was uh, he was going to school out here. And so he was living out here. He had a visa. There's no, um, no problem. he could be out here for as long as he needed to be. Yeah. And then once that visa expired, uh, basically he can only come to the U.S. for 90 days at a time. Yeah. Uh, so pretty much we've been limited since since 2022. We've been kind of limited to that uh, mm -hmm. that limited time frame of things. So yeah. between you know writing and recording music and shooting a music video or, or doing playing shows, it's um, it's been kind of limited. So that's why that's the primary reason why we've only been able to do. Yeah, uh, I mean, shows last so time, far. last time I was out there, we uh, we wrote and recorded the the entire album uh, that we put out, Gates of Twilight, and then we uh, we. we had time to do two shows, right? Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's not easy. I mean, uh, because people might think sometimes, oh my, why we want to see, see, because you have a huge fan base. That's, that's we can say it. You have been covered in a lot of web magazine, webzine, um, people listen to the, especially to the last album, the first album. So everything is going well, but sometimes people forget not being in, you know, in the same continent. It's not easy to arrange a tour, everything. So, they have to keep in mind as well so well i i will say if there's uh you know <laughs> even though a lot of people will say our, our music does not sound like it's from this uh this day and age the fact that we as a band exist in this day and age is uh is a blessing because so much of our existence is pretty much entirely on the internet currently um and we've been able to do that long distance yeah. and, and keep it going which i think is a um i think that's incredible you know so that's that's been a that's a good good side of the you know of the modern day that we live in yeah um, and i'm happy that we've been able to kind of do that because both me and parker obviously the thing we want to do more so than anything else is to go out there and play shows so we, yeah. we have we have the most fun stuff ahead of us which is great yeah, totally i mean it's it's the other there, there's two things that you do as a band, right? You write and record music, and you go and you play it live for people. You know, that's, yeah. Playing it live is half of the equation. Arguably, it's, you know, well, I mean, I I love sitting around and writing music, but I mean... I wish know, it was all you did as a band. When, when you're, you know, I always say this, when, when you're a 10-year-old kid and you're thinking about being a musician, you know, you're not necessarily thinking about slaving around in the studio 
all day you know you're thinking about going out there and, and playing shows for people you know so you're not thinking about uh, pumping water out of the bomb shelter man no no and all, all the other all the other fun stuff that's involved with <laughs> being a band that you wouldn't expect but sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you even can record and roll, write music on the road while you're on. Sometimes the best songs came out from experience on the road while you're touring. So. Oh, I, mean, yeah. I mean, totally. I, I think, you know, music, uh, as, as a musician, you, you write stuff constantly. So as, as long as you have an instrument nearby. You know you're uh, good. I, I might assume <laughs> yeah. that and in these eight months, in these eight months that we didn't did any interview, you just kind of thinking about new music. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. oh yeah, absolutely. We, we have a lot of demos on our own and stuff that we've been writing, so it's gonna okay. be fun to get together. Uh, but let's. Well, I'll say actually, on, on that point, I'll, I guess I'll I'll note. I mean, so pretty much what our what our plans are for this this coming year is, you know, we're doing the we're doing the European tour. Okay. And then we're uh, we're looking around. We're trying to set up a uh, U.S. tour later in the year as well. And then after that, Leo and I are going to get together and we're going to begin the production on Wings of Steel number three. Um, Hell yeah! So, uh, but of course, it won't be named Wings of Steel number three. Please, I have already a lot of bands say number one, two, number two album, number three album. It's a, a little bit. I mean, if you're bored about that, yeah. But find a new name. Uh, well, we'll, well, I mean, you know, it'll, it'll be the third release from Wings of yeah. Steel. Whether what, what the name of that release will be is uh, is to be determined. But it's too soon. Uh, you have to play your the, the song, the first two release first live, at least mm -hmm. for a lot, because you, you, mm -hmm. I mean, just to tour. But of course, because the first uh, because I'm reading the first um, show is the twentieth twentieth of April in uh, Denmark. In no, Germany. That's, a, Germany, yep, Germany. that's a playback festival. Okay, so you're gonna go in. So it's just festival, keep it through, and then uh, you're gonna start. Uh, so when is the official touring day? Apart festival, the first day of touring. I mean, we, we kind of just included the, the, fest. the festival. Yeah, but the, the first the first date we're doing a headline show is yeah. also in Germany. It's on May 11th. Okay. At a at a place called Lemmy's. Mm -hmm. okay. Was it bad Friedrich style? Yep. Yes. Yes. Okay. Something like that. So yeah, yeah, bad yeah, but yeah, it's it's a secret that I can't pronounce. Maybe you can uh, better than me. So Lemmy's, what a weird coincidence. I spoke with the son of the the scene, the Phil Campbell. There's Lemmy around us. The 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 the, the, the soul of Lemmy's <laughs> around us. But then I mean of course like um, how do you feel party to be playing in Europe? Because it's a really first time. I mean, I went over there and, and just on a vacation uh, two yeah. years ago just to hang out and, and kind of check it out. And it's like, it's a different, uh, you know, compared to the U.S., it's a different energy. It's a different vibe. And I think there's a real deep love and passion for the style of music that we play out there. So um, I'm, I'm I'm super fucking excited. I, I think it's going to be awesome, you know. Um, yeah. And I mean, of course, you know, from from the from just the the playing perspective, of course, you know, we're also we're also managing the band. We're also going out there on tour. Like it is, it is a business. Like we have to, you know, there's logistics and there's stuff that we have to to take care of. But but honestly, yeah, I'm I'm just excited to you know get get everything plugged in, get everything set up, get out there and fucking play. I think it's gonna be yeah. great. I mean, that's obviously the thing we're looking forward to the most, and obviously yeah. that's why we're going. But also, there will be a couple of days in between where we get to, you know, hang out and drive around, maybe go to some, go to a show ourselves and stuff like that, because that's yeah. also very important to do, you know. So it's not just, you know, oh. onto that stage, onto the next, and just driving in between. It's nice to do something to, uh, to kind yeah. of, yeah. And of course, like, like because of course, Leo, you already played in the in the states, so now you're playing Europe. So the same question yeah. applies to you. How do you feel to play in, uh, let's say, your own continent, something like that? Uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I'm, I'm. I'm stoked. I'm really excited for it. You know, I only really played shows in um, in Sweden before. You know, so <laughs> yeah. Sweden, the U.S. I think yeah. it's not too far from where from where I am right now, but 
I think it's very natural that we end up in Germany around that area. And I'm super stoked to finally get to go to all these places where we've seen people commenting and buying and supporting us and wanting us to come. So at least to be able to knock three off the list is, is a great start. You know, hopefully 2025 will knock off another fucking however many we can. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's we we knew it was it was a you know as, as soon as soon as we put out our first thing and we you know we kind of started to gauge like where you know our audience is from. It's we we knew it was a, it was only a matter of time before we'd be heading over to Europe because it's the big the you know the big uh, the big chunks. I mean, we have fans all over the world in all corners of the yeah. globe. And we would love to get out there to all corners of the globe and play for you guys at some. I don't point. know why but, I see you. Playing I mean, it's like definitely. That. Yeah, I mean, it would be great, you know, Japan, yeah. Australia, Brazil, Mexico, all, all the world. Over. There's all over, but um, but the the, the notable them. pockets of fans that we have, it's in it's in Europe and it's in the the U.S. So yeah, um, our our first uh, our first goal, given given what resources and opportunities we have to work with, you know, yeah. that's what uh, because you plan all you plan all this tour by yourself. Oh, that did you add with you some I don't know agency something helping you to plan the tour? Well, well, so it, yeah, um, we it, it was a little bit of both because okay. we we had began we started planning this tour ourselves and then you know about midway through then we then we hired the uh, you know we finally hired the agent so it was like <laughs> it was cool it was good <laughs> good timing I mean it would have been it would have been great if we knew him earlier but. Um, but I'm, I'm, you know, I'm very glad that we, uh, we now are, uh, we have an agent working with us, and that's helping us out a lot. That's a huge thing, in for us to uh, procure opportunities to come out there and play live for you guys. So uh, said that it's that having an agent a little bit take the, the the heaviness and the you know the burden a little bit from your back, so you can chill a little bit. Mm -hmm. And of course, like mm -hmm. you were saying as well, having few days off is a good thing as well for chilling. Uh, taking time for your as well for just exploring places, especially for your park. Never been, uh, maybe never seen that. But even Yulia, I don't know if you have. I think you traveled around Europe a little bit. So, and uh, of course, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'll I'll I'll, I'll kind of add to this one thing too. Um, you know, Leo and I kind of joke a little bit. This tour is kind of like a, it's like an expedition because right, you know, there's 11 dates, but they're spread out over. I think it's almost. Uh, like a month, month, month and a half, something like that. Okay. So it's it's pretty much we're pretty much only playing on the weekends, and then we have all this time uh, during the week. So we're gonna be, you know, we're all staying at uh, Leo's place in Germany there. Yeah. So um, we got a lot of time to hang out. We can write music and yeah, mm -hmm. go go check some stuff out. So it'll be cool. You know, it won't just be, it won't be like most tours where pretty much every night you play and then you drive and then you Not only it. see the the tour bus on the stage. You know. But this yeah. is like the, you, you yeah. need the, you need the contrast, you know. You need to get some good foods in between, man. Yeah. <laughs> Don't take too many food in France. Just eat dry cheese in France, at least that. And why? Oh yes. Okay. Sounds yeah. like you're speaking from experience. Yeah, I travel throughout through uh, all around through France. It's a beautiful country, France. It's really beautiful. The f the breakfast is good, and the cheese. That's fucking great. And the wine. But and uh, some things I prefer. I mean, I'm from Italy. Come on, uh, we are like saying that all the time our food is the best, which I think it might be. But coming back as well. So since you mentioned that it's gonna be like one month and a half still, and in like eleven days of uh, gigs, there might be the chance of new gig being added like around that that this period. Or this is the final, let's say, uh, touring date. It's still it's still possible that we may okay. add a date or two. We we both really hope that we'll be able to because okay. we want to play as many shows as we can. Yeah, and like we said earlier, it would also be great to maybe even be able to you know get to Italy or Austria, Poland. Like it'd be really cool to be able yeah. to spread it out a little further. But, uh, but yeah, no promises, you know. But we we do what we can. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we're, we're looking and, and, if, and if we get the opportunity to come to one of these other places we're we're absolutely gonna hop on it you know if it makes we're, sense yeah i mean we're, we're out there you know we should we should do it if we can yeah. but it, it it all just it comes down to what what opportunities there are so um, yeah of course yeah. being a, as well in germany like let's say the 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 the, the, the main base it gives you the opportunity to move better in europe which mm -hmm. 
I mean, Germany is like the 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 house, the I don't know the quarter, main quarter of music in all over Europe. I think everyone is in Germany. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. It's the land. I think. So, but I, as far as speaking a little bit, the um, I don't know if you already talk about the set list that you're gonna perform on uh, the stage. It's gonna be always the same, or you're gonna switch. So we'll be um. We'll be pretty much keeping it the same for the festivals. We might switch a song or two, depending on how it feels, you know? But uh, in terms of the headline shows, we want to try and keep things interesting, you know? Seeing as, you know, a lot of our shows are centered around a similar area, we want to make it worth for people to, you know, who can to come out once, twice, yeah. maybe even three times if they want to. And if they do, it should be a slightly different experience each time. So we do, we do plan on swapping out some songs and maybe even maybe even throwing a demo in there for uh, for the people who come out so they will only be able to get it there not at the festival so that might be a little carrot you know so, so yeah so here's what i'll say to, to go a little deeper on that so for the the festivals i mean this is a common thing uh, you know usually when bands play festivals you have a smaller unless you're like one of the the headliners on the festival uh you'll have a, a shorter time period uh -huh. and then when you play a headline show you have a lot um you have a longer set so our set when we're playing these festivals is going to be about 45 minutes. So you're going to get 45 minutes of Wings of Steel if you, you see us at the festival. But if you come and see us at one of the headline shows, you're going to get 90 minutes of Wings of Steel. Well, so don't, don't, get, don't get me wrong. If you can only come see the festival, because festival is great value because you'll see Wings of Steel and you'll see a, a plethora of other incredible bands as well. And it's going to kick ass for 45 minutes. Don't, you know, no, no worries there. But... You come see us at the the headline show, and you're gonna get to uh, you're gonna get a sense of who we are on a much uh, a much deeper level. You know, we're gonna see you're you're gonna get you know you've heard how we sound on the record, but you're gonna hear how we actually are as musicians live. And I think that's uh, I think that's something that's really uh, that's yeah. really special, and we're very excited to uh, to share that with everybody. So uh, and uh, a lot of people have been you know talking about wanting to bring their stuff to have them sign the stuff and. We're all good with that. Oh, we really look kind forward of a to sort of meeting our meet fans. And greet. And kind of sort of a meet and greet with the fan, kind of. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Absolutely. And then we're also bringing uh, tour shirts for, for this little tour that we're doing. So they'll be available as well as some vinyls and CDs and stuff like that. So. Yep. That's going to be the And map. some patches. Patches. Oh, yeah, and patches. For the first time, there'll be yeah. some patches. Oh, yeah. Really? And the logo, yeah. yeah. Gonna so, what, you know, it's not going to be a big, it's not going to be a big fancy merch suite but you know we'll have we'll have the tour shirt we'll have the you know the cds and the vinyls and uh yeah you know all all the all the basic all the good stuff anyways you know the best stuff <laughs> but you have to do a, a coffee mug one day you will do it a coffee mug one day one yeah day. that's a Next year that, believe me coffee mug. i actually have one at home but i ordered it off of uh, the wings of steel red bubble <laughs> And we yeah we have them online actually from one of our yeah the the red oh. bubble page so of course they I mean, do exist we just steal coffee bugs do exist because we I just mean, won't have them with us on tour yeah of course i mean bringing with you coffee mug is not comfortable moving with that all the time is not comfortable especially in, in europe on in touring but um when you're playing by uh, with the, as a headliner it's just you or do you have as well some opening band uh, or how it's working yeah yeah oh yeah for for a lot of these shows we've uh okay. we've uh, managed to hook up with a lot of different really great uh local bands um i have to okay. have to look at the schedule too um i can't I'm trying to think off the top leo do you remember off the top of your head all the yeah so yeah may, may 11th uh okay. at lemmy's we were supported by a band called front row warriors and yep. then in belgium by speed queen and then France will have Furies and Nemesis HP. Fur Furies uh, is at the the Paris show. Nemesis yeah. HP is at the uh, the Lille, Lille show. Yeah, and then Skull and Crossbones for two shows, which is oh. uh, at Sun and Keller and the Soundcheck One. And then the last one for me. Do you remember that one, Parker? I don't think uh, it's not, not been confirmed. Right. I don't think it's been fully confirmed yet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah. let's say that as well. You, you your 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 being a liner but that this gives as well the opportunity to to for bands maybe you know newer bands or smaller bands to play as well in a in a you know their own shows 
it's not. So it's your yeah. thing as well, good for the music scene in the in, in the local area. Yeah, absolutely. And then these are good bands too, and we look forward to meeting them and catching their shows as well. Yeah, I mean, you're 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 gonna get great shit the entire time you're there. You know, you're gonna get you know these all these bands are, are great that we're that we're playing with, and then you know, so it, it'll be it'll be definitely worth uh definitely worth the trip out there. Worth the 15 euros a ticket, approximately. I know these <laughs> these ticket prices are cheap. These are this is like the cheapest for the the value <laughs> of the you're show that you're getting. Pot. You look you could sell pot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. No. but but seriously they're they're super cheap i mean i mean okay i i think it may be a little bit uh, a little bit better out there it depends on the show but i mean i went all, all you know i'll just give you a little uh you know a little reference i few few months back out here in, in la i saw the big metallica pantera show okay i got a this is a big this is like one of the biggest stadiums they have it's like it's like seventy thousand yeah. people or what it's it's ridiculous it's too big it's ridiculous but I'm but it was you know great show fucking awesome i spent yeah. like 180 dollars to be all the way in the back i was so far back in the stadium that like i could I, it was hard to hear the hear the the band because it was so far back and there was so much uh that's why i'm so afraid that if, you know so if you're only paying like 15 euros or something to see a show like this it's it's incredible value it's incredible value <laughs> i mean there's nothing i mean come come on even people from weak chart they charge in sicily what was dev lombardo i think it was uh, 11 euro to see dev lombardo at the clinic with dev lombardo and everyone was complaining it's too expensive and then you complain that no one is playing in sicily <laughs> once you got one person with that lombardo come on plus it's a clinic so you're spending time with him people always complain but they don't do what is behind putting out the shows or an album this is something that i'm talking a lot with musicians right now like there's a if you want to see more for example wings of steel fan life new music of everyone if you just don't go to the show or don't buy the merch don't support the band Maybe in three years there's not gonna be no more Windows Zero, no more whatsoever band. That's it's not only. Yeah, I mean, there, there will there will always be a Wings of Steel, just depending on you know what type of scale we're talking about here. <laughs> but uh, but no, absolutely. I think a lot of people they think that all the ticket sales go straight to the the venue oh. or straight to the, the the label head or whatever. But at least in our case, for sure, at least part of that is going to us so that we can pay for the gas to hit the city and stuff yeah. like that so it definitely does help and even even now before you guys have come out thank you um really appreciate all of you yeah. and we i think you're to gonna that. do a lot of sold out because uh, you have a, a lot of people so well, i think in france there's a massive uh, fan base there as far for i can read there is a but as well in italy i didn't have no idea that in italy there was people people knowing Wings of Steel and I was like okay because I found out myself in Milan with some photographer from some big webs in what Metal Hammer or something like that and they knew you so I was like okay if you knew them you are in Milan try to do something yeah it's cool we, we, we got some cool publications in France and we have a, a friend by the name of Olivier Garnier who um, I butchered his last name I can't do it properly sorry but uh but it's really been helping us out with, you know, promotion and stuff and putting these shows together as well. So, um, yeah, I, I think it's it's been laid out really well. Obviously, there's been a growth in interest. There's, uh, yeah. We've been doing whole, wholesales to um, France, especially with our CDs, and they've been selling really well. So it's really cool to see that we're getting a foothold there. Yeah, but there's... Yeah, I mean, it's... it's yeah. there. There's, a, you know, the, it's it seems... From from where uh, from where Leo and I are sitting, it seems that the word is gradually spreading around, which is a you know it's it's really it's really cool to see. Um, there's definitely you know there's a lot of corners of Europe that we do know that we have a lot of fans in. Yeah, you know, I'm talking about Italy, Switzerland, Sweden, Poland, Greece, and many more. We never that we would in Sweden that we would love. We would love to play there, and we are going to play there as soon as the opportunity. You should go comes to first. Sweden Rock Fest. You should fucking apply for next year of Sweden Rock Fest. We'll if see. 20, 2025, down, you know. Once you start, you just are out. 
So it's not easy then to stop because it's like an addiction then. You want to keep on going, keep on going. So it's not easy to stop. So and plus you have to play live, to play live because you have to to album to put out to there's some song is guy and I you have to answer here separately, so don't don't choose the same song of course. That you're there's some song that you're excited to play live. Yeah, is there one that we're not? <laughs> I mean, I think, one, I think one, we're one, that that you're like, I want to play these songs live. Okay, I mean, in that case, since, well, I mean, we've only played the other songs like three times and some of them not even that, but I think I'm, I'm excited to play the ones that we never tried out live before, you know? So, for for okay. example, Lady of the Lost, never got a chance to play that one. Um, what else, Parker? Slave of Sorrows, never got a chance to play that one. Why yeah, yeah. I don't I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to spoil the set list and and uh, and ruin the fun, but um there will okay, be I mean we're going to play there's... all of our songs. Yes. Period. I mean we're we're pretty Not for every recording. show, but we will play all of them. Yes. Okay, so there's okay. a, there's there are several several songs that I am I mean, look Every song that we have has its moments that I, you know, that I love to play. Like, so I'm I'm stoked to play all of them, and I'm stoked. The thing I'm more stoked, more so than playing the song itself, is to see how how the different audiences at the different shows that we play how they respond to like different ah, songs. That's because I think yeah. that's something that'll be like really cool for us to see because. You know, we write this music and, you know, we don't, we write it organically, you know, we write it so it, it feels good and it's something that we're, you know, it's, it, we're passionate about, we're expressing it, but, you know, it's also to, to take that, we've seen how people, you know, all, we, they really like this song, they really like last yeah. song, but to see how, how a live audience reacts with a song, yeah. I think is something that's, uh, that's really special. And I think in, you know, for, for Leon and I having, uh, having written all this material, you know, when we, I mean, we've gotten little taste of that already. And I think that's, that's a really, uh, that's a really magical thing to kind of experience. Yeah. So that's, that's what I'm, that's what I'm excited for the most, actually. Yeah, uh, because when you're like playing, especially as a headliner, so you are closer to the, to the people, to the fan, respect to, uh, even if it's, for example, keep it through as a, let's say a certain amount of uh, 4,000, 5,000 people maximum. Which is a, an amazing festival, an amazing festival. Keep it true. So you're playing, the, the, and there is an amazing set list of band as well, like lineup of band this year to keep it through. So it's fucking cool to see. Uh, but if you play in a small venue, you have this contact with the fan. So just because we don't want to spoil too much, but at least we want to give a little bit of taste. If uh, in a let's say in the, um, when you're headlining, how we. Fan, what fan could expect from the yeah from this live show? Well, you will uh, you will definitely hear most of the Wings of Steel catalog, and there's a there's a very 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 high likelihood that you will also be hearing some stuff that is not in the Wings of Steel catalog. Um, okay, so something. So, I think yeah maybe maybe. You know? mm -hmm. And I, think I don't, I don't, I don't want to spoil it. You know, you sh if if you want to know, you should, you should come and you should, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to ruin it for anybody who wants to come. Yeah, you know? Absolutely, um, and I think the one thing you can expect is a very dynamic set list. You know, mm -hmm. uh, that's it's, kind of it's gonna, it's gonna kick ass and it's gonna melt the paint off the walls of the venue. But, but of course, but that's that, that I don't want to forget to mention because it's just, of course, uh, it's, it's you and Leo. But who are the other musician with you? So that's a that's a good question. Um, yeah, we have. Uh, this is a good time to. We have parted ways with our previous bass player and our previous drummer, and we are going to. Um, we're going to be heading out there. I'm actually. I'm heading over to Germany in, in three weeks now. So we're going to go and we uh, we're going to get together with the new guys out there, and we're going to uh, we're going to be rehearsing and getting everything together. And um, so we have our. Our rhythm guitar player, Stefan Jean Baile, is coming with us, and then we're gonna have a new uh, bass player and a new drummer, and we will uh, we will announce the identity of these individuals. Uh, we want to we want to get together with them and get a picture with everybody. So okay, I think that's we'll cool. uh, we'll hang tight until then. So, but, um, but yeah, we're we're really we're really excited. They're both uh, both really cool dudes, really talented musicians, and I think uh, I think it's gonna be fucking. So because be of awesome. course it's from that from Europe. 
it's from every musician mm -hmm. from Europe. Okay, okay. Oh, of course, it's easier with the Beatles. So let's say that people can have uh, some. We we said a lot about the two. We almost spoiled a lot of things. Let's say everything, really, literally. Uh, so we don't want to spoil nothing more. But there's something that you are really something that you're really excited for about this tour. I mean, that's because it's the first, like I said, it's the first time playing in Europe and as well like going on tour. So what is the thing that you're most excited for? I think personally two things. One is just playing the music because experiencing it yeah. live, even from like a performance perspective, yeah. is way different, you know, of course. Um, the other thing is just the learning experience, man. We never we never went on tour together. We never went on tour even separately, like uh, at this scale. So yeah. I think we, we have a lot still to learn and we're always hungry for learning, whether it's in music or around music and whatever it is. Yeah. So I think it's going to be great. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I, I think I think you said it pretty well there, man. I mean, it's uh, it's it's definitely it's going to be some very, very valuable life experience, you know, because because I mean, this is, you know, this is the first tour that we're of of many tours and of a whole career of tours that we're planning to do. Um, so, I mean, it'll be a really good, uh, really good learning experience for us. I'm sure, you know, I'm sure there's going to be some shit that goes wrong. You know, it's not a it's not a tour unless something goes wrong. But um yeah. but it's i think it's gonna be really great uh really great life experience for us and i mean you know it's it's like i said earlier it's this is this is what it's all about you know you sit here and you i love writing the music and i love and that is a that is a huge passion but that's half of the equation the other half of the equation is going out there and, and playing it live and i think i think sharing it with people in person is just like it's yeah i mean Honestly, I think the thing that we both look forward to the most is meeting all these people who made it possible for us to come out there in the first place, man. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be. A, I think it's definitely gonna be. A, you know, even though it'll be, it'll be just the uh, just the beginning of what we're doing. It'll definitely be a, a culmination of what the, what Leo and I have done together so yeah. far in many ways. You know, and I think that'll be a, that'll be that'll be really cool. I'm really stoked for it. Let's say it's the beginning, but you already been out with two albums, so. It's kind of the beginning on the live shows, let's say of the of touring, or the, the, the live touring, but there's a lot already if to, for you to be called professionist. So, let, what, what else is left to say? Just uh, people can find a ticket online, can find a ticket in the, in the venue, I think, or just in the venue. Yeah, we have um, online for most venues. Mm -hmm. oh, I think if you look, if you look at our. Yeah, if you look look at our website, that's uh, wingsofsteelband.com. If you scroll down on the page, you'll see a uh, you'll see a list of all the different tour dates, and then from there you should be able to to follow it to find the the links to buy whatever uh, the tickets to whatever show you would like to go to. Um, we did we spoke about everything basically about the tour. So just I want to wish you good luck with the tour, guys, and see you soon. Yeah, thank you for having us on and we will see everybody out there on the road.